Good evening, children of the night. This is David from Sunward Hobbies. And this, Monarch Models, what gimmicks they make. This is their 113th scale Dracula and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde dual combo. So tonight, we will unbox this kit and see if it does justice to either of these horror icons. Monarch Models. So this company's history is a bit confusing. It sounds like they existed years and years ago, but then went under fairly recently, like maybe a decade ago. And then it seems like they recently came right back. And this is one of their offerings. A 1 to 13 stale dual combo of Dracula and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Now, the likeness of Dracula, in my opinion, does not look too much like Bela Lugosi or Christopher Lee, or Gary Oldman, or Frank Langella, or anybody who's played him. It, to me, it just looks like a generic interpretation of the Count. And as for Jekyll and Hyde, doesn't really look like anybody who played him in the movies either. Just a normal looking guy for Jekyll and a monkey man for Hyde. Now the box, it's a little oversized. And inside you've got your parts. Since this is a figure, I'm not expecting too many pieces. And you've got your instructions with some uh, pretty nice art on the cover for Dracula. You open it up. They give you this little, I don't know, warning what you've gotten yourself into and the very basic instructions. And then when you flip over to the other side, it's that same thing, but for Jekyll and Hyde. Remember kids, always cut away from yourself. So all the black pieces are for Dracula and the brown ones for Jekyll and Hyde. Some pieces came loose. You should expect that with older kits. So on this sprue, Dracula's legs in one pose and another. Yeah, so they give you two leg poses for him. There's his little base. This, I believe, is one pose for his 
that would be his right arm. That is one half of the second pose of his right arm, which I believe is holding this candlestick. And there's one pose for his left arm, which would be holding this key. And then this would be the other half of the second pose of his left arm, if you're still following me. And then there's his torso with his lapel jacket, also includes the traditional medallion that Dracula is often depicted with, and probably his most famous wardrobe choice, his cape. And now for Jekyll and Hyde, he seems to only get one pose for his legs. This would be half of his left and right arm. that piece that came off part of his left arm. I'm not bothering keeping track of the poses for the arms anymore. The sprue's got his walking stick slash weapon of blunt force. and the back half of his torso. And the harness for his jacket is molded onto the torso. Another loose piece here, the front end of his torso. And if you're lucky, these, of course, would still be on the sprues. Here he looks like he's got an ascot tie. Yeah, the molding on these doesn't look too bad. More poses for his arms. And his money maker, this one, normal Jekyll, this one, not so normal, getting there, and full on hide. So the entire duality of man is depicted here. And that's, of course, the back ends of each phase. This, I believe, would be... Well, it looks like a chalice, but I thought he was depicted with uh, like a lab tube for what he drank his potion from. And this would be his base. And this here, I assume, would be the glow-in-the-dark parts. They give you the option of using these or normal sprues. 
like I mentioned in the intro, I think this is just a gimmick. I mean, uh, what good is having this model and using these parts if you're not going to paint them? It's a glow-in-the-dark gimmick that's going all the way back to the Aurora kits of the 50s and 60s. So that would be Jekyll and Hyde's glow-in-the-dark pieces. Okay, so that's the kit. But before I go, I just gotta know, do these actually glow in the dark? Let's find out. Well, they actually do. Interesting. In conclusion, this is not a bad offering. The glow-in-the-dark feature is a little redundant, and it's not quite as good as the Mobius models, but those are becoming harder to find. But nonetheless, not bad. It's worth the price. And speaking of that, you can pick one up for yourself at Sunward Hobbies, in-store, or online. Thank you for watching, and until the next one, good night. <laughs> <laughs>